Hi everyone, I'm Bengi, the Marketing and Communications Coordinator for the Migrant Worker Community Program. Today we'll be talking about how to survive the cold Canadian winters. Thank you so much Kairos and Service Canada for funding this project. Today we'll talk about an overview of Canadian winters, things to pack before you come to Canada, tips for surviving and how to maintain your emotional health. Usually Canadian winters start from mid-December and last up to March or April. Winters in Canada are an amalgamation of freezing wind and rainstorms, more importantly chilling snowfalls, even resulting in frostbites and hypothermia. Please make sure to check the weather for the location specifically before coming. There can be drastic changes in the temperatures based on different locations. Let's discuss things to pack before coming to Canada. Winter clothing. Your winter gear should consist of warm winter clothing, be it thermals, turtlenecks, high necks, bomber jackets, pullovers, long coats, warm and thick socks, trench coats, snow pants, boots, you need to bring it all. Try to get good quality and waterproof outerwear, especially jackets and shoes. Accessories. Some accessories are extremely important to thrive in Canadian winters, which include hand warmers, wool gloves, beanies, quick dry towels, waterproof phone cases. Winter emergency kit. This kit can include the icer, first aid kit, water with non-perishable snack. You can even have a flashlight, a small toolkit, batteries, and a tow rope. Some of the winter essentials are moisturizers, balms, creams, lotions. These things are essential to take care of yourself. Here are a couple of tips that can help you survive your first cold. Never forget your layers. It is extremely important to dress according to the weather. To avoid conditions like frostbite and hypothermia, you should be cautious enough to never forget layers when going out in the cold. Not dressing, not dressing appropriately is one of the biggest challenges. And you won't learn about this right away. You might have to watch a couple of more videos and then you will definitely get it. But please make sure that you're nice and warm when you're going outside. Keep your accommodation warm. Use a humidifier to prevent dry air and mend all the cracks and holes to prevent cold air from entering in. Avoid unnecessary hassle. Canadian winter is quite difficult to cope up with and there might be situations wherein you can get late. Try to avoid panicking in such situations so as to prevent injuries on your way. Essential trips. It is extremely important to have enough sleep, eat well and hydrate to a proper extent. Never miss your greens and fruits along with essential vitamins like vitamin C and vitamin D. One of the most important vitamins for hypothermia is vitamin B12. There is not much sun when you are in winters. Again, this depends on where you are, on your location. Getting that vitamin D can help you manage your mood better as well. But of course, please consult a doctor before taking any vitamins. It can be tough to maintain your emotional health, especially during the winters. So here are some tips that can help you maintain that and make you feel good. First is keep up healthy eating and sleep habits. Sleep is one of those things that is extremely important to maintain your emotional and mental well-being. So make sure you're getting enough sleep. Have a support system and stay connected. Having a support system is important and trying to stay connected with friends and family from back home with whom you can talk to can help bettering your mood. There are lots of guided meditations you can find online, but if you want some details on this topic, we have done a video on coping. I will link it in the captions below for you. Trying to stay mindful even for five minutes can help increase your focus and feel good about yourself. Journaling or writing down your thoughts can help you give some clarity if you're struggling with some emotions, some decisions to make, or maybe listening to your favorite music, listening to your comfort music, watching your comfort TV show or movie. Always remember, different coping techniques work for different people. You can try one, and if it works out, then keep trying and adding new ones to your toolbox. If you tried one and it did not work out, that's okay too. You can always try another one and then eventually you will have a bunch of coping skills that you know will make you feel better whenever you're feeling low. And of course, we are here to help you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We offer mental health support. Your mental health matters and you can text or call or email whatever you like. We are always here to support you. If you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to comment on Facebook, comment on YouTube, or reach out to us directly. We are always here to help you. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you so much for being here.